All right, everybody, calm down, calm down, calm down. We're entering into a favorable environment. Shout out to everybody that had their voices heard yesterday. It's time to move on and get into the nitty gritty because now is the time that we're going to change our lives. So congratulations to everybody. Let's get into today's video. The two macro clusters of blockchains that are emerging into the future of finance. I believe what Sergio is about to tell you from Chainlink, I'm going to play a video after this. I believe what he says to be true. And in fact, I believe that they are going to overtake us very soon in the amount of capital invested on chain. Check this out. Why is definitely coming back? I think the TradFi capital markets community is going to become probably the biggest user of DeFi and the public chain world. And I think RWAs, stable coins, commodity coins, tokenized funds will eventually surpass uh, cryptocurrencies in total market cap and go on to define what our industry is about in addition to cryptocurrencies. All right. So, yes, institutions are here. They're ready to go. Project Guardian underway. We've had two major announcements just over the past 48 hours. Um, number one the project with Chainlink, UBS, and SBI has been a ex extreme success. This thing is absolutely fantastic. I did an in-depth breakdown for my private group members yesterday in yesterday's study sessions. Any group members, go check that out. It shows you the intricacies of how this fund tokenization works with Chainlink. And now we're seeing the next one just announced four hours ago today. Uh, Axelar, Axelar, a massive, massive proponent for this. Okay. So we're seeing, we're seeing the onboarding of institutions coming from two main sectors. That's Chainlink and Axelar. And what is awesome here today, the reason you clicked on this video, because you saw the XRP logo, we have to remember Axelar strategic partnership with Ripple for custody and onboarding institutions and making the XRP ledger and the EVM sidechain a hub for institutional DeFi. And then from there on out, with Axelar's help, they plan on spreading their roots through the Axelar ecosystem with the help of the XRP ledger, Ripple X, and Ripple as a whole entire company. So this is absolutely fascinating to see. We are seeing the two macro clusters of blockchains emerge out the Web3 centric chains with Chainlink, Ethereum, Solana, uh, Swift with the Swift network. They're onboarding of funds and fund tokenization and fund administration. Then you have Axelar. You have all of Axelar's networks with the Cosmos and the IBC. Then you have Ripple, all of Ripple's partnerships, all becoming these two massive macro clusters of blockchains. Hundreds of blockchains make up both of these clusters, and I believe they are eventually going to merge into one massive blockchain super cluster that we are going to know as the Internet of Value, the Finternet, the Internet financial system, whatever you want to call it. That's what it is. That's what we're an initial investor in. All of the coins that have made their way uh, are going to be adopted and the institutions are going to outweigh retail and capital invested in these markets very, very soon. They're going to be buying uh, these mutual funds through these entry points into the blockchain ecosystem. They're going to be holding their assets custodied at robust custody solution places such as SBI, Ripple, uh, Zodia, all of these different custody companies are going to be able to allow their uh, their clients to engage in DeFi as well, similar to how the Ripple clients that are using Ripple custody are going to be able to make passive income engaging in DeFi with Ripple. Ripple becoming a strategic DeFi uh, powerhouse is the secret message to how XRP is going to get adopted. Okay, so this is really getting fascinating now here. We're on to the next level of all of this. So this is really cool. Let me know what you think down below. All the private group members, we're going to do a more in-depth video on this Project Guardian 
on the project with Chainlink, Swift, UBS, SBI, and we're going to do one with Deutsche Bank, Axelar, with Axelar's plans for Stellar, Ripple, and we're noticing all the blue chip assets that we are convicted in inside Davilva's Capital, inside the private group, are the ones that are emerging as the investable assets looked at as institution from institutions. And as these financial institutions start to outweigh capital invested in these markets, as these blockchains of velocity rises up, and as these currencies become more deflationary because of the institutional volume, the institutions through education with these crypto native companies are going to realize that these digital assets are investable instruments. And that is when they're going to be holding the ETFs. That is when they're when they're going to be engaging in DeFi on chain DeFi, and that is when these next narrative of bull cycle is going to continue on from the new favorable environment we have today. A lot going on in the political spectrum, very favorable environment in the political spectrum now, and now the technology is actually gaining another level of adoption, institutional adoption here and now. All the blockchains that have been laser focused on institutional DeFi, institutional DeFi is now under the spotlight, stablecoin regulations underway. Let's get to it. All the links are in the bio. If you're interested in getting uh, this in-depth education, I'll see you guys on the next one.